Hi everyone, Baker on the Dark Side. Doing another July 4th recipe. Uh, making some barbecue back here. And so um, everybody wanted some cornbread. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna show you guys my cornbread recipe. Why not, right? <laughs> okay, so one of the things I like to do is to get everything at room temperature. And so I have about one stick of butter and two tablespoons of canola oil in here. And I've got a cast iron pan. I always make mine in a cast iron pan. It's kind of warming up in there because I like to, like I said, keep everything warm. So I've got my butter in there and I've got my oil. I've made my buttermilk. So I've got one and a quarter cups of buttermilk and I made that with one tablespoon and a quarter of vinegar, uh, apple cider vinegar, and then some milk to fill that out. So I'm gonna throw that in here with my butter and my oil, okay? Then I'm gonna throw in my two eggs. I beat them ahead of time and I set them at room temperature. I just think that's very important if you want it to all rise together. So there's that, that's all mixed in there. Okay, now I have three quarters of a cup of corn meal. And I have two teaspoons, oh no, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. I'm going quickly today. Okay, half a teaspoon of baking soda. And half a teaspoon of salt, light salt, as you know. Okay, so that's that. My cornmeal, getting mixed in with my dry leaveners. And then I'm going to add my flour. One cup of all-purpose flour. So I'm mixing that together. Okay, very easy. Cornbread's very easy. I'm gonna throw my sugar in there. And that was half a cup. Was it half a cup? No, three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. And then three quarters of a cup of honey. I'm gonna throw this in here. And then I'm gonna throw the rest of those wet ingredients in here. And I'm gonna mix this up. The only fast rule that I have, like I said, is that I like to make sure that everything is to room temperature before I bake it, and that my pan is hot. And this is a very thin batter, and you wanna make sure you mix it. Now sometimes I really encourage you to use a whip. I'm going to put my pralines and cream on here. Sorry, I had a low battery count here. All right, I'm just gonna put a dash in because I just love this nuttiness, the nutty flavor to it. I think it'll taste good in a cornbread. Okay, so that's it. You see how thin that is? That's a very thin, like almost like a pancake batter thin cake batter. Really thin cake batter. Okay, so now I lightly greased it. Okay, I'm gonna throw some butter in there. I'm just going to re-grease it again. Just you want to make sure. Because you don't want it to stick. And the butter is the best part, right? Okay. Alright. So now, I can pour it in. My oven is at 375. I'm going to pour this in. So I'm going to throw this in. I suggest you get two hands. <laughs> When you do this, it's gonna be close to the top. All right, <clears throat> came out of the oven, my cornbread, and it is like, it's very cake-like. I don't have a really heavy, heavy cornbread. So um, I will tell you this though, it did come out a little bit because um, this is one of my thinner uh, cast iron pans. So I didn't realize it. So a little bit came out on the side, but that's okay. You know, you put cookie sheet under it, it's all good. So it's very warm right now, but oh, it smells so good. 
I have to have a piece. <laughs> so I'm probably cutting it a little too soon, but oh well. Too soon for who? <laughs> okay. So let's cut this baby up. It's gonna be warm. And I will take out this piece right here. So it's very loose because we put that butter in there. I just can't get my can't get my spatula under there. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. So there it is. Oh, it's steaming hot. Did you see the steam? <laughs> okay. So there it is. The steaming hot cornbread. So good. Mmm. So good. Look at that. Mmm. So let's put a little butter on there. You can also put a little butter on the top too before you serve it and a little bit of honey if you want but you don't have to so I just put a little bit of butter on there yep because it needs more fat <laughs> okay like I said it's pretty warm I use, I normally would probably drizzle some honey on here too I'm not gonna lie but let's see so there it is. Here's a close up, smell of vision. Okay, I need a fork. So, like I told you, it's very light. You know, it's very, it's very, very light. Okay, so here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. It's like a dessert. It really is. <laughs> Mmm, look at that. Mm. If you don't like it as dark on the top, you could make it at 350 maybe. I never it never bothered me because the inside was so good. Look at that. Ooh. Happy fourth everyone and enjoy your cornbread. <laughs>